Hello everybody! Lately my YouTube channel has been growing bigger and bigger, so I thought it would be fun to count down the top five words that rhyme with bigger. Number five, digger. A digger is a person who digs holes, but the word is actually far more versatile than you might think. There are grave diggers, gold diggers, and even Shia LaBeouf diggers. Man, I love this movie. It's the story of a young man who was falsely accused of stealing an expensive pair of sneakers, and as a result, is forced to become a digger. Uh, now that I think about it, there's no way children would ever be forced into penal labor camps. Holes? More like... Plot... Holes. <laughs> As far as gold diggers go, the term was popularized in the English lexicon by famous t-shirt designer Kanye West, with his hit 2005 song Gold Digger Feet Jamie Foxx. Now, I've heard this song on the radio like 100 times, and I think I'm the only one who has noticed a huge mistake in the chorus. The lyric goes, Now I ain't saying she's a gold digger, but she ain't messin' with no broke broke. No broke what? It's incomplete! You can't just end a sentence with an adjective! This isn't Spanish! And personally, I've never known a digger who could speak Spanish. Well, except for the ones crossing the US border. <coughs> Unfortunately, in American society, there are still people who discriminate against diggers. Everywhere I go, I see these stupid signs that say, Call before you dig. <laughs> yeah, like a real digger needs permission. This is just another disgusting example of the man trying to keep the diggers down. Or, in this case, trying to keep them up, since the whole point is they don't want them to dig down. You dig? Number four. Trigger. Trigger is a word that manly men used to use on a daily basis. For example, I'm gonna pull this trigger to kill some Nazis. These days, men still use the word, but in a completely different context. Instead of utilizing triggers to defeat Nazis, beta men and soy boys get triggered and accuse innocent people of being Nazis. Hey, if you literally think that person is a Nazi, then put your money where your mouth is, or in this case, a trigger where your finger is, just like your great granddaddy did back in World War II. If your great grandfather was still around today and saw you, do you think he would be proud? Do you think he'd be happy that the battle against Nazism has devolved to crying on Twitter about microaggressions? No! He'd be ashamed of the pathetic louse who pussified his family lineage! Oh no. Did I just get triggered? Oh god! Where did this carton of soy come from? And why am I watching The Last Jedi? The Last Jedi? More like... Plot... Holes... <laughs> Number 3 Vigor Webster's Dictionary defines vigor as active bodily or mental strength or force. But Webster's Dictionary also defines Donald Trump as the president, so it's not exactly the most reliable source. Wait a second. Why did I write that in the script? That doesn't even make any sense. I think this soy is getting into my brain. But now that I think about it... The Last Jedi wasn't so bad. Uh, I really enjoyed the romance between Finn and Rose. And really, Rey's not a Mary Sue at all. No! No! Bad brain! Bad! Very bad! You can't think like this! Oh god! Oh god, I need to fix this! If only there was a word that rhymed with bigger that could cure my brain of this soy addiction! Number two! 
Rigor! Yes, rigor! This is just what I needed. Rigor is defined as the harsh inflexibility in opinion. I just need to have rigor about my beliefs. It's all about willpower, baby! I'm stronger than the soy. I'll never abandon my values again. And you know what I value most of all? The freedom of speech. Those damn soy boys on Twitter want to restrict our freedom of speech. And the only way to combat it is to say the things you're not supposed to say. So, let's embrace our sense of rigor and finish this top five list the only way I know how. Number one. Epstein didn't kill himself.